Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Samara, a first-person horror experience where I'm going to be investigating the disappearance of my uncle. And if you want your uncle to disappear, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, it would mean the world to me. This is Samara. So, Alex sets out to investigate the mysterious disappearance of his uncle John, whom he hasn't heard from for over a year. He has no idea that this seemingly ordinary visit will send him into a terrifying experience beyond his wildest dream. Not dreams, dream. Singular. <laughs> okay. And here we are. Okay, it looks like we're beginning our investigation in the bedroom. Sure. Right, let's see, what we got here? Okay, paper added to the inventory. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm familiar with this UI. Uh, so, nothing in my diary. We've got the controls here, okay. Alright, flashlight, pistol, interesting, okay. This is uh, an interesting investigation already. Seems like I, I don't actually have my pistol at the moment. Grab the flashlight. I was gonna! Along with the Maloko batteries, which I wish weren't included, honestly. Right, something down here too? Dear diary. Today was another day of studying. Studying and studying. I don't understand why my parents are so strict about it. They say it's because education's important, but sometimes it feels like too much. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, hold on. Are we... Yeah, we are actually going to have to worry about the battery life in this game. That's a shame. Seems bright enough for me to just, you know, go through it like this at the moment. Okay. What's this? Not sure, but it seems like I, I can't open it. In the morning, I woke up early to revise for my maths test. Mum insists that I should get perfect scores, and anything less than that is not acceptable. I wish they would understand that everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Yeah, they seem quite harsh, don't they? What have we got over here, then? Okay, it looks like we can't open the drawers here. Okay, here we are. We found the ensuite. Let's see, can we? Oh, hello. You were over there before, weren't you? <laughs> Strange. Oh, is that for me? Dear diary, during breakfast, Dad quizzed me on my history lessons. He said it's a fun way to learn, but I just find it stressful. I love history, but the pressure to remember every tiny detail is overwhelming. Why are they being so harsh? This way? No? Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Did you leave anything over here? Already had a look at that. Uh, something in the bathroom? Did I look down the toilet properly? Maybe there's going to be a key. <laughs> Apparently not, unfortunately. Oh, there is one in the sink though. There you go. All right. So what's it going to be like? Right click, right click. Yep. All right. Door's been unlocked. Was that another door opening, or was that just like a laggy sound effect? <laughs> I, oh, hang on. <laughs> Uncle John, was that you? I think there was someone leaning around the corner there. Right. Seems like a nice place. I don't know why I was sort of locked in the bedroom, though. That's a strange place to start investigating. Is there something down there? Oh, there is. Oh, and a couple more batteries, just in case. Okay, cool. So... At school, my friends were talking about going to the park after classes, but I had to decline because I had to attend an extra science tutoring lesson. My parents believe in pushing me to excel, but I wish I had more time just to be a kid. Yeah. Okay. Alright, what have we got over here? Lots and lots of books. All for studying, maybe? A few boarded up doors. Maybe if I found myself a hammer or a crowbar, I can remove them. Hmm. Okay. Strange. Very strange. More books over here as well. Okay. Oh. Up to the attic? No. no. Whoa, okay. No, no. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to glitch the game out too much. Right. Through here? No. Yeah, again, we don't really need this flashlight, do we? Yeah. Uh, can't use that key again. I guess we're looking for another one. The one in the sink was 
I mean, it was kind of obvious, but it was also kind of hard to find. It wasn't highlighted or anything, you know? Right. Should we go downstairs? Let's go downstairs. Alright. Something over here by the chairlift. I hope one day that they will trust that I'm doing my best, and let me have some time to myself. Until then, I'll keep trying to meet their high expectations and hope that they will lighten up a little. Hmm. Okay. I've got to wonder who's actually writing this. Like, is that my Uncle John? Is that whoever Samara is? What is that? A giant bag of, like, packing peanuts? Like these? <laughs> yeah, okay. Weird. Like, whoa, what the... Alright. Something's going on down there. I might actually need the flashlight. It sounded like something smashed. Wow, wow. Have you got enough cans? <laughs> okay, there's something over here. Today was a different and exciting day. My parents surprised me by taking me to my uncle's house, who also happens to be the best math teacher in town. They said he would teach me some cool math tricks and concepts. I couldn't believe my luck. Okay, so your uncle's teaching you maths. Alright, is that another battery over there? It is, and I think another note too. Uncle John is a math genius, and he makes even the toughest problems seem easy. He started by asking me some basic math questions to understand my level. Then he taught me some shortcuts for multiplication and division that blew my mind. I can't wait to show these to my friends at school. Hmm. Okay. Got a door here. Which is locked. Alright. I feel like we've got to go through these just in case. No keys. Oh, there is something. After learning the tricks, we took a break and a delicious lunch prepared by my Uncle John. He makes the best sandwiches. And we chatted about school, my friends, and all the things I love. This seems to be going far too well, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, over here. Is that what I heard? Was it this plate smashing? Hmm. Another battery and something else to read. Today was another fantastic day spent at my Uncle John's house, and I can't help but feel so relaxed and happy whenever I'm there. Uncle John is not just the best math teacher in town, he's also the best uncle anyone could ask for. Yeah, okay. I have a, a horrible feeling that it's going to get very dark. <laughs> There's going to be another side to Uncle John, I think. Nothing else over here? This game's either too dark or it's too bright, you know? Okay. Hey. What the fuck? Is that above me? That was really, really loud. That didn't sound like my uncle. <laughs> right. Alright, not getting through there. Yeah, okay, let's let's go upstairs. Huh. <laughs> Was it you? Wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, you're there. Ah. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, did you leave me a key? Wait, there was a piano down there, right? Okay, we're going downstairs. We're investigating the piano. And it's you again. <laughs> What the hell? Was that cannon fire that I heard there? Can I play the piano? No? no I guess not. Wait, what's going on with the TV? Is it floating? Oh god, it is. Oh, and I can just go straight through it. Brilliant, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh! Alright. I guess I'll have to go the long way around. That's kind of bothering me as well. Can I just push it to the center? Just the layout of this place upsets me. Yeah, it's just not quite right. Okay, maybe it wasn't cannon fire or a gunshot that I heard. Maybe it was this opening. Right. Hey. I... I can't move. I can't move. Why can't I move? Hey. Oh. Okay. Is that the sound the chairlift usually makes? 
Sounds like someone's just eating right next to my ear. I hate that. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, un Uncle John? <laughs> okay. Still can't move. Alright. Can I can I move now? I guess I was frozen to the spot. There we go. Okay, yeah, that was just too terrifying. No cannon fire this time though. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Oh, damn, there's so many loud creaks and stuff in this game. Another bat Whoa! Oh, <laughs> What's with the fucking jump scare sound? Another battery. How many have I got? I've got seven. Am I going to be a ten battery man in this game? I think so. I think so. Today, Uncle John gifted me a doll. I love it so much. He even decorated his room for me with lots and lots of toys. His room for me? Like, Uncle John's room or the doll's room? This can't be the doll's room, surely. Oh? Bring me my parents' portrait and I will tell you a secret. He took it away from me. Bring here. Right. Okay. Oh, hang on. Wait, look, look. There's a key. I've got a key. It's a key with no description. Okay, well, there's been a few locked doors, right? Let's see. Okay, that one I can't even try. Uh, upstairs, potentially? That one over there? Hang on. Let's see. No, the key doesn't fit, apparently. Alright. Let's go this way. Here we are. No, key doesn't fit there either. It's probably going to be upstairs then, isn't it? Hmm. Right, yeah, this one I think was locked. Maybe it's this one. Here we go, alright. Yeah, very laggy sound effect, unfortunately. Right, but... Oh. Oh, come on, what is this? <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, nice. Well, maybe in here I'm going to find a, a family portrait, right? Well, there's another key. It's getting silly now. <laughs> I found another key. And I guess that's the only reason I came in here? Hello. <laughs> right, yeah. The castle with the cannons next door, they need to stop. This is ridiculous. It is so loud. Alright, yeah, this is, uh... This is the room, I guess. Yeah, well, I think we're, we're done with that. Um, so, we've got another key. There's another couple of doors to try. These are all boarded up, aren't they? So it's going to be one of the ones downstairs. So... This one? Yeah, it's this one. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, is that it? Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Yeah, right click to to hold it and sort of drag it around. Okay, we haven't got too far to go with it, I suppose. Just over here. You want it here? All right. Uh, use it to unlock the secret door behind the bookshelf. Um. I remember only 15. You have to find the other two numbers. Be careful. 15. Right, okay, so... So those those are two digits to a four-digit code. And there's a door behind the bookshelf. Which one? There's a few. There's a few upstairs, there's a few around here as well. Hold on. How's this? Someone bouncing a ball? Sounds like it's coming from this sofa. Is the sofa bouncing a basketball? I don't think so. Right, okay. Right, yeah, there's loads of shelves around here. Uh, this probably wouldn't make sense, because if there was a door there, it would just lead to the other side. We don't move this to the side or anything? No. Um, these are just drawers and stuff. I mean, there's books everywhere, right? It might be upstairs. It might be upstairs. I don't know. That sounds kind of weird. Up we go. Come on. Alright. 
Wait, there was a... Uh... I mean, there's bookshelves here, I suppose. No. I know a secret. Do you? Towards the evening, Uncle John surprised me again by suggesting that we go out to the park nearby. We played catch, ran around, and even had some ice cream. It was a wonderful break from the usual routine, and I felt so grateful to have an uncle like him who cares about my happiness and well-being. Right. Are we going down to investigate the piano again? Right, there's loads of bookshelves here. Can I definitely not... Okay, just trying to go up those stairs is going to crash the game, I think. There's a secret door behind a bookshelf. I was thinking it was probably going to be this one, but I guess not. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Can we jump? Oh, we can jump. Good. Okay. Over we go. <laughs> right. Well, that stopped. This is this is just kind of getting on my nerves now, honestly. I don't really understand. Okay. We Oh. Hello. When did you get here? What the <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, zero one. Zero one. Are they the other two numbers? So it Hold on. One five zero one is it? Okay, hold on. Something coming from over here, I think. Oh, this is unlocked now! Ah! Ah! Okay, hold on, hold on. This this bookshelf is a door. And there's the keypad. Okay, so 1501? Yeah? Alright. Ooh, Uncle John, what were you doing? I, <laughs> I think I just saw it outside the level there as it was loading. This isn't the most polished game, is it? Oh, here we go. How many have we got now? There we go, I'm a 10 battery man! But how many more can I get, I wonder? Everywhere's been fairly well lit. It's, it's weird, I, I don't know if I really need the batteries. I don't know if I even need the flashlight all that much. Right, so my uncle's got this secret basement. Why? Something down here? I can't believe what I witnessed today at Uncle John's house. Uncle John seemed distracted. His eyes kept wandering towards a particular corner of the room, as if he was trying to hide something. The corner with the, the bookshelf? <laughs> well, it's this. He's trying to hide. Is this some sort of dungeon? What the hell? Alright, we can't get that open. Or that one. Or this one here. Okay. Someone's got the pan pipes. Mm. Right. So what was my uncle up to down here? Nothing good, I'm sure. This is going to be the dark side. Alright, we can't get that open because, well, there's no handle. <laughs> is that breathing I'm hearing from down there? Or around there, possibly? I'm not sure. Right, let's... Let's go this way. Yeah, left. Is that a candle? Right. Maybe I need to find a lighter and, and light the candle. Okay, we've got an alcove. That seems to lead to nothing. Over here, a couple of doors. Alright. Another candle, too. Another door that I seemingly can't open. Uh, a, not a pentagram, something... Something else. Like <laughs> like an attempted pentagram that went a little bit wrong. It's different. I'll give you that. It's different. Oh, okay. Wasn't actually expecting that. More batteries? Hey, there you go. In fact, do we need to... Yeah. I am no longer a 10 battery man, unfortunately. Never mind. This is the place where Uncle John brings young girls like me and traps them here. I think he does some bad things to them. Right. Okay. So it's going to be that kind of story, is it? 
This way. Yeah, that works. Alright, we've got a load of shelves in here, if nothing else. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> the sound effects are just not well timed in this. The jump scares are just sort of off putting, and that sound, it's just too loud and it's just too distracting. Okay, are we gonna find something here? Are we gonna find some keys? Are we gonna find some useful items? I guess not. <laughs> right. Right, so we can't go that way. Let's go back on ourselves a little bit, shall we? It'd be nice to find a lighter, I think. There's quite a lot of candles around here. A lighter and a couple of handles. <laughs> right, let's go down the other way. Towards the breathing. Where did that come from? Wasn't that door opening? May have been another one? I'm not sure. Okay. To the right? Maybe it was this one. Okay. What do we got here? A battery. A TV. And a working VCR. Okay. We're going to look for a VHS tape then, aren't we? After lunch, while he was in the kitchen, I sneaked into the room where he kept his teaching materials. I was hesitant at first, but my curiosity got the better of me. As I searched for something strange, my eyes fell on a hidden door behind a bookshelf. I was astonished and wondered why he would have a secret room. For, uh, for all his abuse, I guess. I mean, this this is ridiculous as well. It's, it's like twice the size of the house. What the hell is behind this door? A dragon? What is that? Like a beach ball? The door's ajar, but I can't push it. It must be wedged or something. Let's go in here. We've got another shape. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, we're just going to pull the drawers right out, apparently. <laughs> okay. Let's just have them hovering in the air. <laughs> I need to find myself a crowbar or something, don't I? Looks like there's more batteries back there, and it's that... Ah, there might be a key there. Kind of glinting in the darkness. Yeah. Right. Okay. Nothing behind the barrels? They just seem stacked weirdly. Not covering up anything, I don't think. Anything behind here? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> oh, God. There's so many problems with this game. Um. Yeah. All right. I don't really know what the next move is going to be, honestly. I, I think we're looking for a VHS, or we're looking for a key, or a handle, or... I don't know. I heard a door swing open, but I'm not convinced that it was the one down there. Oh. Oh, okay. Where's that coming from? Not in there? Hmm. After ten minutes of wandering around aimlessly, something has happened. Hold on. Maybe I need to be on the other side. Oh, right. Okay, something's happening. I don't know what triggered it. Maybe I just needed to walk around for ten minutes, as I said. Ah. So who might you be? Are you... Are you Samara? <laughs> okay. Right. Did you leave me anything behind? A lighter? A crowbar? A key? Nothing? Really? Nothing? Oh, come on. Well, hey, we're, we're, we're seeing more scares, so we must be making progress. That door I still cannot get open, unfortunately. Right, let's see. Anything new in this room? No. Ah, ah this door is finally open. Oh, and we... We go down. We go down to another basement. Alright. Let's see. Looks like there's some more batteries here. There you go. Something else to read? He had a servant who knew everything about him. He killed him too. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's just go through this and see if there's anything in the drawers. Nope. Not at all. Never mind. Uh. Oh. What the fuck? Why were there three little people in hazmat suits pointing at the wall? What's up with this? 
Six pieces of antiques. Yes, but I... I don't, why? Why? <laughs> Was I seeing that right? It looked like they were in hazmat suits or something like that, you know? Or maybe they were like a forensics team. Okay, we get six pieces of antiques. Great, but I can't do anything with them. I can't push them in as buttons. I can't twist them around. Guys, can you come back? I need more pointers. No pun intended. Okay. Can't open that drawer? No, you can never open those ones, it seems. Oh, come on. Wait, can we go around here? We can. Okay. And <laughs> we can see that it's untextured. Huh, yeah, the more I play, the more this game falls apart, honestly. Ooh, yeah. I'm, uh... I'm swithering a little bit. Am I going to be calling this a terrible indie horror game? Maybe! <laughs> Maybe! It's been a while. It's been a while. Right, okay. Let's go around here for the, I don't know, twelfth time? There's got to be some reason that I could go down there, right? Oh! Something happened! Someone in the- oh, someone's in the chair! Ooh. Have they got a head? Oh no, that's- that's Samara, isn't it? I assume, that girl. Right. I- I need to find a way to go through these boards. That's gonna be the next move. I did- oh. Hold on. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, right, that, that's one way of dealing with it. And they just, they just gave up. Can I go in without getting a chair thrown at me? Okay. Well, if nothing else, we found some more Maloko batteries. And a key, right. Thanks, Samara. Okay, so where do we use this key? I think there's only one place we can use it, right? I mean, this this door, this door just doesn't work. It's got to be the one at the very end, past all the the shelves, right? Okay, let's try it here. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay, we're making some progress. Okay, so this is the office chair room. What's this? One, two, three, and four. Okay. It looks like four is the one that we need to pay attention to here. Is there going to be a maze later on? Are we going to have to choose between like four doors? Not really sure, honestly, but yeah, okay. Odd. Hmm. So is that it? That's, that's all we find here? That's all we're going to find here. Oh man, okay. So, back to running around aimlessly, I guess, until something else happens. You know what? I think, yeah. Oh. Hold on, hold on. We've got the ball rolling out of the room. Whoa, okay. Finally. What's in here, then? Oh, brilliant. Now I'm trapped as well. Right. Is there a way out of here? Is there a trap door? Is there a button? Or this can't be real, right? I mean, this is okay. Is that one of the girls? Oh, that... okay. <laughs> it's raining bodies, apparently. Right. Should I be worried? Any more? No, I don't think so. Oh no! <laughs> as soon as I look down, there's another one. John, how many how many girls did you do this to? Right. Oh, they're gone. Fantastic. And it seems like they didn't leave anything behind. Certainly not a way out of this place. So what do I do? Oh, 
Oh. Okay, the wall just disappears and we can leave. All right. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Another four digit code. Right. What was it? 1501 before, right? Wrong. Okay, so it's not the same code. Hmm. Okay. So we're looking for some sort of clue as to what the code is, I suppose. Maybe six has something to do with it? Maybe that's why those three people were pointing at the, uh, at the six antiques and why it clearly said six antiques. I'm not really sure. The beach ball holds no answers, I'm afraid. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's blindingly bright sometimes. Oh, this is open as well? Eighty-one. Well, that's two of the digits. Is that the latter half? The, the, the first half? Maybe it's somewhere in the middle. But eighty-one. What we got here? Today has been the most terrifying day of my life. I made a grave mistake and now I'm trapped in Uncle John's secret basement. I felt a sense of unease. In a split second, the door closed behind me and I was trapped. Panic set in as I realized that I couldn't get out. I tried everything, pushing, pulling, and even pounding on the door, but it remained firmly shut. Thankfully, you had some writing utensils so you could note all this down. Hello. I, uh, I think I'm losing the will to play this game. <laughs> I want to get through it, because, you know, I, I just want to finish what I've started. And I'm actually curious as to how much worse it's going to get. You know what I mean? Still haven't found the VHS for this. <sighs> right. So 81's part of it. Six might be part of it? Four might be part of it, because that... That seemed to be, like, the way through the maze. Right? Maybe it is a combination of those numbers. I mean, there's, there's definitely 81 and there's 81, but then I don't know where the other ones would go. So, let's see. 8164. No. 8146. 6481. There you go. There you go. A little bit of trial and error, but we're through. We are through to... <laughs> to... Oh, what? More? What? Okay. Wait, where is this? Is this still in the basement? Is this another house? Are we in some sort of weird dimension? What? <laughs> oh, God, okay. Uh, sure. This way, then? Hmm. Looks like there's an opening here to the left. Alright. More batteries? Wait, how many batteries have I got now? I've got 16 batteries! A 16 battery man, that's what I am right now. And I don't really need them. Not here. Okay, here we go. No? Mm. Alright. This way then? Oh! Oh! Is that you, Uncle? <laughs> okay, so there's there's an actual threat in the game, by the looks of it. Right. Ah, okay, so now I understand why it's set up like this, so we can run around him. Cool, cool, okay. So, let's see, where did he come from exactly? Is there going to be a key back here? Uh, what's this? Okay, painkillers! Alright. Something go- oh, here we go, here we go. I've got a key, there you go. Where is he? Has he gone? Maybe he's gone. Right. So is that it? I- oh, I shouldn't be able to see through that. This game just feels unfinished, right? It just feels unfinished. This doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Oh, right. We're just running around my uncle, I think. 
Oh boy. I think I'd save you money on this one, guys. Yeah. Close the door, close the door. Hey, what? Was that another loading screen? That was really brief, but I think so. I think so. What? More? How many more do I need? <laughs> okay, it's a little dark here, I suppose. Okay. And there's more over there. Right, what the fuck is going on? Okay, a bit of a dead end, just a, an empty room. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just... I'm overloaded with batteries. If my uncle catches me, it's because I'm just weighed down by them. Okay. So that's, what, tw 24 batteries. Wow, I've actually used quite a few as well. I could be like a 30 battery man at this point. If I wasn't running around like a dick for so long. Okay, that's a dead end. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> right. Around here to the right? Uh-huh. More? Oh my god, there's more. Wait, and... Okay, yeah, that, that had to be a dead end. Wait, I'm... This is, this is such a maze. Okay, no, that, that's a dead end. Uh, alright. Well, I think we've got to go this way and left then, haven't we? Okay. Around here. Is this a new area? I think it is. Yeah, okay, cool. So, oh, hello again. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. <sighs> Right, so I'm going to have to sort of outrun you. Dodge and dive around you. Right, let's do it. Let's do it here, shall we? Come on, Uncle. Come on in. Or not. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the AI could do some work as well. A lot of this could use some work. I, I think this needed a little longer in the oven. And when I say a little longer, I mean like months. More painkillers? More painkillers. Okay. Okay, we got a we got a door here. Alright. Right, my diary. It's been a while. Find key for the main exit. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> Not find more fucking batteries. I'm on fucking 32 batteries. Right. Is my uncle going to be around here as well? Oh, that's one thing we were missing! Fuses! Oh, is that actually working? Oh, maybe it's working. Oh, oh, there's a key down there. But I can't get this open. And I don't have the key in the inventory. Right, but there's a key in there. Right. Okay. Around here? More. I can't believe it. Am I going to be like a 40 battery man by the end of this game? 50? There's so many batteries, it's like, what's the point? What's even the point? Right. What's through here? Oh. Oh, it's you again, and I can just I can just pull these off? I couldn't do that before. Can I do that with the big ones? No, nah, fair enough, fair enough. Right. It's almost insulting now, isn't it? Oh my god. He held us captive in this cage, did not give food for days. That's unfortunate. Alright, are we gonna find some, uh, some useful items down here? No? We are going to get boarded in, though. Oh, and for whatever reason now, I can't remove these. <sighs> right. There's got to be something that we need to find in here, right? Uh, at least I hope so. Hello? <laughs> Can you help, please? Of course, there's no one around to help. Oh, we definitely can't go in. No, we can't crouch low enough to go in. Hmm. 
So is that it? Game over? Oh, hello! Would you mind, Uncle? Oh, oh, huh. Gages are now filled. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Do you have to look at me like that? Mm. Right. Excuse me. <sighs> right, I, I need to get out of here. What do I need to see? Oh, maybe I just need to see them disappear. And the boards disappear, and him disappear as well. Okay. Oh, not the only boards to disappear. <laughs> All right. So, the fuck was that? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Whether it was an earthquake or a bomb going off. I mean, there's been cannon fire throughout the game, so who knows, right? This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, Christ, here we go again. Um, right, yeah. Let's just run around, I guess. Just like that, okay. <sighs> um, <laughs> let's go right to the very end. Maybe lose him around one of the corners. Ah, it's a dead end! It's a dead end! And Wait, is it a dead end this side as well? Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, well, we're going in here, where he came from. He was probably protecting the good stuff. The painkillers, the... yeah. Oh. Okay. Is there a door over... okay, there's a door over here. Here we go, here we go. Oh, more batteries! Yeah, because that's what I fucking want. Okay, that's... that's all closed up. Is he still chasing me? He's still chasing me. Okay, we got to lose him so I can actually have a proper look around there without getting mauled. Um. Okay. Right. Come with me. Come on. All the way back around here. Or not. How many batteries have I got now? Forty fucking four. Wow. I, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out in the comments. If you've been watching me for a while, have I ever had more than 44 batteries in any game, ever? I I don't think so. I think this is a new record. Uh-huh, okay. We're just gonna follow him wherever the hell he's gonna go, I suppose. Hopefully he goes right to the very end of the corridor where there's a couple of dead ends and we can go in there. Oh. I think he heard that. Oh, he heard it. No. Oh, I was talking too loud. Right. I need to stay in his line of sight so he actually follows me where I want him to go. Come on. This way. Round this corner. Here, boy. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. So, if he comes around the left side, I'll go around the right or vice versa. Uh, yep. Okay. That works for me. <laughs> and now we can actually sprint around and have a proper look. Okay, so this way, through here, yep, round to the right, so there's nothing else, there's nothing else down there, what about this, okay, oh there's, oh there's a fuse, oh are we carrying this through, we might be carrying this around, we might be carrying this around, like, whoa, okay, we might be glitching out as well, yeah, I think we're carrying this around. There was a bit of a gap, wasn't there? So maybe, yeah, we were missing one in the middle. So where is he? I guess <laughs> I guess he's going to be back this way. Yep, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Oh, really? What am I stuck on? I... <laughs> 
<laughs> he got hit in because I was stuck on the wall. Not really sure why. That teaches me to be cocky, I suppose. Alright. Here we are. Oh, and that opens the cabinet. Aha! There we go. And there you go. There's the key. So this is going to be the strange looking exit key maybe i don't know but right let's uh let's load up on some batteries let's use some of those 44 i've got 41 spares now <laughs> it's got to be that one past where he came from <laughs> I had fairly high hopes for this game when I first started, and to be honest, the house section wasn't terrible, but the, the further I played, the worse it gets. And this is, yeah, this is just a little bit embarrassing at this point, to be honest. You know what, I'm just gonna run past you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care anymore, I really don't care. <laughs> That's the problem, when I don't care, I mean, the, the game's kind of failed, you know? Really? It's not this. Oh wait, it, what, what? It just works? No, I, I don't understand. Right, let me just see if I can heal up as well, because I've got, I, I've got like 18 spare painkillers <laughs> as well. I'm just overloaded on supplies. Okay. Wait, what the? Are we falling into a mine or something? A cavern? Okay, floating rocks, that's always good. Oh. Okay, the game's saved. Am I gonna get, like, chased through here or something? What's going on? Oh, what's going on is I'm gonna find more unnecessary batteries. I'm still kinda confused as to what the key's for. Okay. This way? Go. Oh. It's alright. It's alright. It's just one of the many jump scares. Uh, what about these boards? Can I get them out of the way? Oh, I can get them out of the way. Okay. I think the protagonist is just as tired as I am with this game. He just wants to get through it, you know? Wait, is that... Oh, it's the pistol! Yeah, okay. I saw mention of the pistol before. Is there something down there? It's so bloody bright. Shoot at four lamps and unlock the... Shoot at four lamps and unlock the door. Okay, remember you have limited bullets. Find the four numbers. Find the four numbers. What the fuck? Okay, so we're shooting at lamps, are we? Is this where I use it? No, key doesn't fit. Okay. These lamps? Oh. There's an invisible barrier here. I can't get too close. Oh, okay, that's that's actually working. So there's four lamps. There's four lamps, right? Okay, we've got 15 more rounds. I don't know if all of the lamps are here. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay. All right. Wait. I've lit four of them. I've lit four of them, and I've still got 11 rounds. Hold on. Put this away. Is this just going to be open now? It is. Okay. The oh, fuck? Are we getting out of the basement? Are we, are we actually getting out of here? Oh, hold on. It's this door! There you go. So this is the exit, is it? Right. Alex could manage to escape from the haunted place and inform police about Uncle John, who used to kidnap young girls and held them captive in a secret basement and abuse those girls. The police informed Alex that when Samara was missing, her parents complained against John, but when the police arrived, he was missing. John probably hid inside the basement and somehow got locked forever, and died due to starving. Since then, his bad spirit has been haunting the place. It is seen that in most cases, abuse is done by someone known to the victim. Alright? And is that how the game's gonna end? Because that is not a satisfying ending. That is how the game's gonna end, it seems. 
That was Samara, and that was dreadful. Thank you very much for watching, though. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, all right? Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Hopefully you found my commentary entertaining, at the very least. The game leaves a hell of a lot to be desired. I, I don't really like the way it looks, the way it sounds, the jump scares for the most part don't work, the, the audio for the jump scares often seems off, you know, it's like out of sync with what's actually happening as well. Uh, yeah, I didn't really like the, the sort of television lens filter on everything. It's a very ugly looking game. Uh, I didn't really care for the story. I didn't really care for, I, I didn't really care for any of this, unfortunately. And I thought it had a fairly strong start. Well, that's, okay, that's, that's a lie. Not a, not a strong start, but a better start than the rest of the game in the house. The house was okay. The house was decent. But yeah, the, the more I played, the more the game unraveled, the more unfinished. It felt, and those last few sections were just awful. Yeah, definitely a terrible indie horror game. Thanks for watching. See you next time. He has no idea that this seemingly ordinary visit will send him into a terrifying experience beyond his wildest dream. Not dreams, dream. Singular. <laughs> I, oh, hang on. Uncle John? Was that you? Up to the attic? No, no. Whoa, okay, no, no. I. Hey, whoa, what the. <laughs> Was it you? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, you're there? Ah. <laughs> and it's you. Again. <laughs> All right, another bat. Whoa! Oh, um, what's with the fucking jump scare sound? Well, there's another key. It's getting silly now. Hello. <laughs> when did you get here? What the? <laughs> oh dear. How many have we got now? There we go. I'm a ten battery man. Anything behind here? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> it's not the best looking game as well. I don't really like this filter over it. I, I don't know if this is meant to be a camera lens or are we watching this on a TV? But yeah, I, I think I could do without it, honestly. What the fuck? Why were there three little people in hazmat suits pointing at the wall? What's up with this? What's in here then? Oh, brilliant. Now I'm trapped as well. Hello. What? More? How many more do I need? Come on, Uncle. Come on in. Or not. Oh, that's one thing we were missing. Fuses. I was trying to look at the controls. But I guess my health's full, so I can't. 